Meta took OpenAI researchers by paying 10 million a year each. When we talk about AI working well, we need to talk about reasoning, specifically chain of thought reasoning. But reasoning won't be fast with typing, so we need multimodal voice integration. But voice and reasoning is good but dull, therefore we need image vision capability. A picture is equal to 1000 words. But even then it is incomplete without the OG of AI, Google DeepMind. All of these use reinforcement learning. One of the dominant use cases of reinforcement learning is self-driving, which Waymo scientists pioneered. These technologies are put in production by engineering. Finally, products like GPT 4.5, O-Series, and Foro are built. Rapid Pencil pioneered re reinforcement learning on chain of thought reasoning. One aha moment for me was like when we saw that if you train the model using RL to generate and hone its own chain of thoughts, it can do even better than having humans write chains of thought for it. And is a co-creator of O-Series models and co-author of the paper learning to explain generating stable rationals for neural networks laying groundwork for interpretable reasoning in LLMs. So Chao Bai works on multimodal voice integration with GPT-40 voice mode and O4 mini multimodal post training. Uh, hey, I'm actually giving a talk right now at Columbia by AI. Can you make a joke about Columbia, which is appropriate? Polite one for Did the AI apply for Columbia? Because it heard even the algorithms get a degree of sophistication there. Has co-authored speech GPT, one of the first large language models with instruction following capabilities. Yu Wen Chang works on image generation, GPT 40's image generation, invented mask IP, Muse text to image architectures at Google Research. Has co-authored Muse text to image generation via mask generative transformers, a foundational paper in fast high quality diffusion free image generation. G Lin worked on GPT 4.0, O4 Mini, GPT 4.1, and O3. Basically in the room or over the Zoom. So um, I'm back here to share some of the work I have been doing during my PhD study. So the type of the thesis is Efficient deep learning computing from tiny ML to large language models. Focused on image generation, reasoning, multimodal stack optimization, and open AI. Known for once for all, train one network and specialize it for efficient deployment, a widely cited work on neural architecture search. Joel Pobar was at Anthropic and at Meta. I'm Joel Pobar. I work on HHVM, I've worked on Hack and I work on developer tooling along with my cohort here, Joel Beals, another Joel. Building scalable in inference and ML infrastructure with deep experience in systems tooling. While not a primary author of academic papers, he's featured in talks on production grade ML, serving at Meta and Anthropic. Jack Ray led pre-training at Gemini 2.5 and recent research at DeepMind. A lot of use cases where you don't need a guarantee of the model kind of responding immediately. Uh, with a very low latency. So maybe in a coding application. Co-created Gopher and Chinchilla models. Co-authored scaling loss for neural language models and training a helpful and harmless assistant with RL Hedger reinforcement learning with human feedback. Key to model scaling and alignment. Hongyu Ren worked on GPT-4.0, O4 Mini, O1, and O3. The brand new model in the O3 family that truly defines a new cost-efficient reasoning frontier. It's incredible. Um, yeah, though it's not uh, available to our users today. He's specializing in post training alignment and evaluation at OpenAI. Known for chain of thought with graph reasoning, combining structured reasoning with neural generation. Yuan Shalquick was a Google fellow who helped build foundational infra like Sesame and now contributes to Maya model stack. Lead architect of Google's speech recognition and end to end voice search systems, laying the base for voice AI by friends and has published an interest speech many times. Pai Sun built perception systems at Waymo and worked on reasoning post training at DeepMind's Gemini team. Credited with developing large-scale 3D object detection systems, help scale autonomous driving perception pipelines. Jack B. Wu worked on OpenAI's perception stack, GPT-4.0, GPT-4.1, O3, and O4 Mini. And the first image is not really something kind of creative or something new, it's just from the training data. Mm -hmm. And as long as we see the image, we know that our implementation and our end-to-end -end pipeline is working. That key multimodal efforts at OpenAI and Gemini. First author of Big Gam, Dynamic Neural Gradient Speeds and Adapter, pushing the frontier of generative visual models. Chen Jiazhou co created ChatGPT, GPT 4, and all mini models. I need post training info. We think playing with such a big model feels totally different. 
and it required to skin up the post-training infrastructure. Focused on synthetic data pipelines and fine-tuning at OpenAI. Published maximum entropy flow networks and implicit generation and generalization in meta-learning advancing theory behind generalization and synthetic data.